Hello, this video will guide you how to perform the Smart Cipher Simulate uh, State Demo. We are now connected to the XP Virtual Machine, uh, which is the end user PC where the Smart Cipher client is installed. As we can see in the uh, notification area, the orange uh, Smart Cipher icon um, indicates that the client is connected. If we we'll point on the, on the icon, we can see the connection status. Uh, let's go through the uh, demo scenario. We are logged in as Ron M, who is a member of the uh, finance department. The finance department used the below network share for all its confidential documents. Ron M is allowed to perform the following operations on files in that share. Ron M is not allowed to perform uh, either print or copy cut content. In simulate state, the system will not prevent the user from performing blocked actions. Instead, it will show a violation pop-up and log the blocked actions as violations in uh, reports and alert uh, window. I will now perform the below actions. I'm going to uh, follow the uh, demo exactly as described in uh, the Covetix uh, demo document, but you may perform and test any action you'd like. I will open the uh, finance share open the file add some content and save as a copy of the file on the desktop Now I'm going to perform uh, two actions which are configured as invalid actions. Please notice the violation pop-up uh, which appears each time an invalid operation is performed. The first operation will be either copy or cut some of the content. And the second uh, operation will be printing the file. Let's move uh, to the Smart Cipher uh, Web Management uh, Console. Select the Reports option from the uh, toolbar. The default file operation for today um, uh, report is displayed. The report windows include many other types of reports uh, as we can see in the uh, drop down list. And um, these uh, types of reports will be covered in additional videos. Let's go through the uh, reports uh, window and see some of the information that uh, we can find there. Uh, we can see the exact date and time of the performed action, the operation name or type, username who performed the action, the file name on which the action was performed, the file location and the target location and uh, the last relevant column uh, is uh, whether a violation was committed or not. So let's see the last operation uh, operations that I performed as part of this demo. The first operation was open a file and as you can see we get all relevant information regarding this uh, operation. Next, I've added some content and saved as the file, uh, which can be seen here. Um, the last two actions were valid actions and the violation flag is set to no. And one more important thing is, please note that not only the original file is monitored, but also any other file like the uh, finance report copy which was created as part of either save as, copy, or any other uh, operation. Since the file inherits its uh, definitions from the original file. Um, now uh, let's move to the invalid operations, uh, which are documented as violations. Um, 
Ron M, as you remember, is not allowed to either copy cut content or uh, print a file, and we can clearly see in the reports all uh, invalid operation, uh, as well as the violation flag, which is set in this case to yes. Let's move to the alerts uh, uh, window. Uh, which document all invalid operations and enables us to send notification. And again, we can find <coughs> um, uh, the uh, reported time, the operation type, etc., along with the alert urgency column. And the, uh, uh, the system can be configured to send notification using different uh, protocols. Uh, for example, we can configure that for all uh, violations which are in critical level, an email will be sent to the uh, security team. In order to uh, view the predefined policy, choose the policy setup option from the toolbar, um, open the policy setup sidebar, and choose the finance department safe zone from the list of available safe zones. In the upper pane uh, we can find the uh, data source for our specific uh, safe zone. Uh, we can see uh, the uh, list of data users which are part of this uh, safe zone. Um, and uh, in order to view further information we can expand the uh, finance report policy rule, which uh, define the finance department safe zone. The rule clearly shows the conditions and filters of the finance department safe zone. The data filters, uh, all files which includes the following extensions will be captured. Um, the allowed operations, the blocked operations, The data uh, users uh, which are included in this policy and anti-groups are supported as well. The conditions, in our case it's always true, but uh, we also have the option to limit the user activity to time frame or specific network limits according to either IP address, hostname or domain. And um, this will be the end of this instructional video. Other uh, uh, videos will describe the uh, active state and uh, how to access the virtual environment. Thank you.